It's time for a Bible story. This story is about a guy named Naboth. Oh, bless you. What? No, I, I didn't sneeze. I said Naboth. Oh, allergies getting you, huh? You need a Kleenex, bud? No, I'm not sneezing. I'm saying his name, Naboth. Ooh, gotcha. Continue. Naboth lived a long time ago in the land of Israel. He was a godly man that lived a nice, quiet life on some land. Aw, he seems nice. I like this little Nabler's guy. You mean Naboth? Yeah, that's what I said. Maberth. I think you're saying it wrong. His name was Naboth. Oh, bless you. Uh, Never mind. Naboth lived on a piece of land that was right by the king's palace. Nice. That's a pretty sweet setup. Good location, property value going through the roof. He's living the dream. Well, there is a catch. The king that lived in the palace was named Ahab, and he was not a great dude. And the queen wasn't any better. Her name was Jezebel. Together, they were a pretty dastardly duo. Uh Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, so what's the deal? They were just like bad neighbors or something? Always playing loud music, leaving their trash all over the place? Not quite. You see, Naboth had a bit of a green thumb. Oh, what? Ah, gross. What's wrong with his hand? That's nasty. No, no, no. Uh, that's just a phrase that means he was a gardener, that he liked working with plants, not like he actually had a green thumb. Oh, uh, okay, good. Cause that'd be weird. Naboth had a beautiful vineyard on his land. It was full of lush plants, and Naboth worked really hard to make it very fruitful. His vineyard was so beautiful that it caught the eye of someone very powerful. Let me guess. The Hulk. What? No. Uh, Superman? Wrong again. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. No, it was King Ahab. He saw Naboth's vineyard from his palace and wanted to have it for himself. So he asked Naboth if he could buy it, but Naboth said no. Huh, how come? That land was given to Naboth as an inheritance and God told him never to sell it. So he thanked the king and declined his offer. Okay, no big deal. Just gave him the old, it's not for sale. Well, it shouldn't have been a big deal, but it was to King Ahab. He was furious that Naboth didn't give him what he wanted, so he went away pouting and all upset. Wait, like he threw a fit? Like a little baby? Pretty much, yeah. Man, that guy's got a screw loose or something. Let me get this straight. He's a king. Yep. And he lives in a totally awesome palace, Mm -hmm. but he's throwing a temper tantrum because he didn't get something? Oh, that sounds like little king baby needs a little nappy time. You're not wrong. And when Queen Jezebel heard that Naboth wouldn't sell his vineyard to the king, she got super mad too. Seriously? What a couple lame old babies. Totally. But it gets even worse. Queen Jezebel was so angry about it that she did something really awful. She had Naboth killed so her and King Ahab could steal the vineyard for themselves. No, Naboth, oh, are you for real? Unfortunately, yes. King Ahab and Queen Jezebel let their jealousy consume them and it eventually led to their own destruction. God had such better plans for them, but because they let their hearts be hardened and gave in to sin, it caused their entire family to be wiped out. Man, that is crazy. Okay, do me a favor. Remind me if I ever see a vineyard that I really like, but I can't have it, like not to get super jealous and like kill the people that have it to steal it from them, because that is not gonna end well for me at all. Um, sure thing. Uh, If that ever happens for some weird reason, I'll totally remind you. Thanks, man. You're the best. The end.